Carolina, I head coach Dan Harlip. Dan, top to bottom, uh, top notch effort, one through nine on the mound. Uh, very efficient and well played in all aspects of the evening. Great team win. That's all you can say. We, we got great pitching. Uh, Kevin Duchesne was outstanding, very efficient. Uh, Doug Hayes came in, gave us a good inning to, to end it up so we could keep uh, Kevin's pitch total you know, under 100 today. And then you look at the lineup, and one through nine, we had uh, production. Everybody had at least one hit. Uh, we had uh, RBIs at the top of the order, middle of the order, bottom of the order. Uh, and the thing that was a difference in the game today uh, was the fact that we had a bunch of two out, two strike hits uh, early on. Uh, we were able to push across two in the uh, first, two in the second. Uh, in basically the same type of situation and uh, you know, kind of cruise from there. And early on, we I thought we're fearless on the bases as well. I, I, I'm not saying we really gambled, but you got a chance to score and uh, the guys put their heads down and were able to come home. Yeah, we were aggressive on the bases. Number one, we got good jumps and good reads, and then uh, you know, we did a, a good job, uh, I thought, uh, down the third base coaching box. Uh, uh, you know, Coach Allen uh, made good decisions down there. And, you know, we, we just we played well, you know, from top to bottom. So, uh, you know, we we, uh, we deserve to win that one, and we got to put it behind us. Mike and I talked about it on the broadcast, but uh, we felt it was important for this team to come out and get going early because, you know, we were sitting around the hotel all day, and I, I know you don't like to do that, and uh, the fellas certainly, who knows uh, what their attitude would have been like when they come to the ballpark today, but two in the first and two in the second, and. Uh, Really, that was uh, all she wrote. Yeah, our guys did a great job. I, I hate Friday night games. They're miserable for me to sit around the hotel. You know, our guys are loose and, and uh, you know, they, they go about their business. Uh, it's kind of like hurry up and wait for me all yeah. the time, but it doesn't matter for me. It's all about what you know those guys are able to do, and, and they handled it well. Uh, you know, they as I've talked about all year, they've. Uh, you know, they, they have fun together. We came out here last night for practice, and uh, the guys were having fun. But when it was their time on the field, when they were out uh, you know, doing stuff uh, between the lines, it was all business. And then today, you know, they were loose uh, around the dugout. Uh, they were loose at the hotel. When we went out for BP. Those guys uh, zeroed in, and then game time got our jobs done. 19 straight, looking for 20 tomorrow. Yeah, we'll put the 19 behind us and go for one. And I'm smart enough to understand 19 plus one will be 20. Got a boy. Native Ohio and Dan Hartlip yeah, back on home turf. Come back to my home state and I can add. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I know they're proud of you. We're proud of you. We're proud of this ball club. Uh, let's get a good night's rest and uh, come back swinging tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks to all the people back at home uh, you know, for listening and uh, hopefully tune in tomorrow.